In one game, a code made using different colors is created by one player, the code maker, and the other player, the code breaker, tries to guess the code. The code maker gives hints about whether the colors are correct and in the right position. All right? The possible colors are blue, let me underline these in the actual colors. Blue, yellow, blue, yellow, white, white, red, red, orange, Orange and green. Green's already written in green, but I'll underline it in green again. And green. How many four color codes can be made if the colors cannot be repeated? To some degree, this whole paragraph in the beginning doesn't even uh, matter. If we're just choosing from, let's see, we're choosing from how many colors are there? There's one, two, three, four, five, six colors. And we're going to pick four of them. How many four color codes can be made if the colors cannot be repeated? And since these are codes, I'm, we're going to assume that blue, that blue, red, red, yellow, yellow, and green, that this, that that is different than green, red, green, red, yellow yellow and blue. We're going to assume that these are not the same code. Even though we've picked the same four colors, we're going to assume that these are two different codes. And that makes sense because we're dealing with codes. So these are different codes, different codes. So this would count as two different codes right here even though we've picked even though we've picked the same actual colors, the same four colors, we've picked them in different orders. Now, with that out of the way, let's think about how many different ways we can pick four colors. So let's say we have four slots here. We have four slots. One slot, two slot, three slot, and four slots. And at first, we care only about how many ways can we pick a color for that slot right there, that first slot. We haven't picked any colors yet. Well, we have six possible colors. One, two, three, four, five, six. So there's going to be six different possibilities for this slot right there. So let's put a six right there. Now. They told us that the colors cannot be repeated. So whatever color is in this slot, we're going to take it out of the possible colors. So now that we've taken that color out, how many possibilities are when we go to this slot, when we go to the next slot? How many possibilities when we go to the next slot right here? Well, we took one of the six out for the first slot, so there's only five possibilities here. And by the same logic, when we go to the third slot, we've used up two of the slots, two of the colors already, so there'll only be four possible colors left. And then for the last slot, we would have used up three of the colors, so there's only three possibilities left. So if we think about all of the possibilities, all of the permutations, and permutations are when you think about all of the possibilities, and you do care about order. Where you, where you say that this is different than this. This is a different permutation than this. So all of the different permutations here, when you when you pick four colors out of a possible of six colors, it's going to be six, six possibilities for the first one times five for the second bucket, times four for the fourth, for the third or the or the uh, third bucket of the third position times three. So six times five is. 30 times 4 is times 3, so 30 times 12. So this is 30 times 12, which is equal to their 360 possible four color codes.